Uh, persons living in Shantis in the lucky area of Lagos State have been given a four-day ultimatum to vacate. Speaking during an inspection tour, the Commissioner for Environment and Water Resources, Tokumbo Wahab, says these shanters pose environmental and security threats in the upscale neighborhood. Her correspondent, Esther Mopariola, has more details on this. For some time now, the Lagos State Government has been intensifying efforts to reclaim public spaces by demolishing shanties and illegal structures. This time, the inspection and enforcement team, led by the Commissioner for the Environment and Water Resources, Tukumbo Wahab, is serving up eviction notices and relocation orders to shanty dwellers at Jakondi and Elegushi Itedu. We've gone there to see and give them notices to vacate. And we gave them till Friday this week. And we start operation to clean it out. The plan is to clean the whole place up and take possession and regenerate the whole of Jack on Day. The enforcement team also aims to open a 40 meter drainage on system 157, tackling flooding caused by constructions on drainage paths. In as much as the community are saying they want to do the work and open up based on the design they sent, we've not seen the intent, we've not seen the traction on their part, and will not allow the rain to take us by surprise this year. So let it be for the overriding public interest that we're doing the work. In the meantime, the team visited Ilubiri to assess the progress of a three-year-old project involving the installation of an underground tank to address flooding on Lagos Island. We are terminating it. And we are wanting to somebody that said we can fix it within three months. That's why I was emphasizing three months, that's 90 days to complete it so we can start the proper work of regenerating Oroi in Saleku and the neighboring communities. He also assures that no part of the state will be overlooked in its mission to restore sanity to the environment. We are going back to Abogu sometime this week. Because uh, we were there sometime last year, around October, yes. and when we went there, the contractor was on site, took it, and um, we found out with the first and second rain that we had this year, a bit of flooding in some areas. So we want to go back and see what they are doing at Aburu Command and the Mirror Corridor and Abuli Egba. Other areas inspected include Awulowa Road, Ikoyi, Obalende, and Dolphin Estate. Esther Mapariola, TVC News, Lagos.